the work truck for today. Hey, good to see you, Nick. We going in the souped up, wound up 94 S10 powerhouse. Just to let you know, uh, 2020, I had the motor redone, transmission rebuilt. A solid little truck, great little work truck, great gas mileage, easy to knock around in. So that's one reason I kind of like it and gives the Dodge a break. Let's go pick Jeff up. This being a 94 S10. And then I've got a 2008 Dodge, the Dooley. My 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro is actually, I think, sold. A guy's supposed to be coming up in a couple weeks from down around Georgia and buying that. I'm not going to replace that truck. And like this truck is a 94 and I've done some, you know, motor work on it. I had the motor, I don't know, they, I spent about $2,000 on it. Uh, built a, rebuilt the transmission was 1750. Uh, I've done some other little things to it, just keeping it up in great shape. It was my wife's father's truck. And uh, so it's got a little sentimental value to it. Then the 2008 Dodge, um, I've rebuilt the front end on it a couple of times and I'm gonna drive it till I have to call a record to haul it off. Go look at new trucks and you know, they're $70,000, $60,000. And I'm just like, man, I can spend 60 on a house and bring you in seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a month or I can spend 60 on a truck and it brings nothing in. My wife's got a good vehicle and that's really all we need. And just kind of, I guess, reprioritizing, I guess, you know. Would I like to have a new truck? Oh, I'd love to have a new truck or a newer truck. But I just, I don't know, 59 years old, just getting to where I don't want to spend that kind of money on a, another vehicle. You know, I'll have to do something one day because they'll lay down. But anyway, that's kind of why I drive older model trucks um, and I like them. There's my sidekick, Jeff. This is the house that, and I never liked saying this, but I had to evict the people. You never like doing that. I like people to do the right thing and pay their rent. Jeff has put a clean up job on this house. We've got it done. You see it is just immaculate. And the people are, starting to move in so i'm not going to show much i've rented it to a really nice couple he works at 84 lumber where i do quite a bit of business and that's how we got acquainted he knew the house was coming open he asked me about it so anyway we also pressure washed it's been so nice all of the concrete this dog over here barks non-stop well, there's something you hadn't seen there's the milwaukee your dolly they came out with needs a motor on it. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a good thing about COVID. You just, you got a mask on. So if you're ready to sand or in this instance, we're going to paint. Got the very cold Pro LTS 170. Got it all primed. Jeff helped me prime it. Got a DeWalt fan in that window. We got a Milwaukee fan in that window. It just seems I, I have trouble getting away from my fans. We are going to paint this room. This is the room you've been seeing. Let me see if I got some pictures and I'll throw them up right now. I'll try to uh, get you a little video of this room. This is in the upstairs. We've already hauled some junk out of, or a lot of junk that the previous people left behind we got to finish cleaning it up i'm going to make this back here on this side i'm going to wall this and i'm going to make a closet that's going to be a closet all that back there make a good size closet this is the room you've been seeing 
got it all sheet rocked. Bobby Oberhausen sheet rocked it for me. We ready to start spraying some paint. Today is just get one light coat on it. In the morning, Jeff's gonna come in before I do, start vacuuming, cleaning up, and doing all that. And then I'll come in and put another coat on it. This is gonna be white, so I'm not worried about uh, masking it off right now because I'll paint this, and then I'll mask the tan off and then paint this white with a sealant white. If you wanted to know, I'm using a Draco uh, 517. This is a Rack X, I believe, tilt. Move straight across. Anything that I've learned, that's one of them. Move straight across. We're doing good. We don't have a finger or anything. painting now i'm going to tell you there's a big difference in this contractor pc gun than the stock guns that come with those it's just so easy to use don't tire your hands out control it easier we got all the parts down in there gun taking apart jeff's been cleaning up he was a big help to me while i was painting to just you know whatever i needed keep me in paint uh just whatnot he was a big help walls on both sides we got one coat on that's what my goal was today i know you see the dust and stuff and you probably think well man y'all should have cleaned that up before you did and in a perfect world that's the way we would have done it this machine here i've run a bunch of water through it gonna let it set overnight because we're going to use it again tomorrow to put the second coat on and let me get turned because that light back there is fighting me but jeff's gonna come in in the morning and clean up keep down the dust as much as possible use a shop vac i bought a new shop vac i'll show you that when i go down downstairs but uh in a perfect world we would have cleaned up but i got done with the house uh in the other town where i had to and i never like saying this but it seems like i say it a lot where the people i had to evict we got that done i got the people uh, utilities transferred, everything done with that. We got here at uh, about 11.30, just kind of ate lunch on the run, got here, got this set up, and in an hour, painted all this, and we're cleaned back up. Because I've got an appointment this afternoon I needed, needed to get to, so, you know, we just kind of ran in. I wanted to get one coat on this. Like I said, in the morning, Jeff will clean this up. And then uh, I'll put another coat on the walls, 
two coats might be enough and then I'm gonna tape everything off and we're gonna paint the ceilings white. Closet in there all painted all the way around, all of this, down the steps. So anyway, I just wanted to make you a video of using, uh, of course I always use PPG paint, the Magnum Pro LTS 170. Uh, got a good guy, a good friend uh, that owns a hardware store, paint store, and I buy all my paint from him. Porter paint, like porter paint. Today it sprayed through that machine just like a dream. No clogs, never one time a clog. That Rack X tip, let me go show you. These are my paint boxes that I keep tips and parts and supplies. Uh, this is the Rack X guards that I use. Uh, here's a like one of the Rack X tips right there. Probably gonna throw that away. It looks pretty dry and whatnot. But uh, you know, I got more tips and stuff in here. And same over here, just more. Got there's some Rack X tips right there. See, that's a, another five. That's a 515. That is a 315. That's the rigid vacuum cleaner that I bought. The hose is a perfect size to go in my DeWalt 60 volt table saw. Fits in it perfectly. Never had one that did that. Vacuum works good. So I just wanted to make a, a small video. I, I didn't want to leave the camera up there where I was painting because I didn't want it to get fogged up and painted up and whatnot. So that's why you didn't get a lot of video of painting. But guys, we out of here. God bless you. Jesus died for you. I enjoy being with you. I'll see you on another video, man.